South Africa has changed the weightings in its consumer price index basket to reflect the latest spending patterns. This gives a slightly lower weighting to food, while petrol and electricity weightings have doubled. Joining us on the desk for more is Leon Mayberg, sub-Saharan Africa strategist at City. Now, you're going to jump right into the numbers and tell us <laughs> what does this mean for CPI? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? Leon? Well, un unfortunately, the news is bad. Um, if we recalculated the September uh, 2012 inflation using the new weights and rebasing it, it unfortunately goes up. And we would probably have an inflation rate around about 6%. Uh, it's not a final number because there's still a few uh, calculations which you need to do, particularly on the rebasing side where the rebasing is done for the full year and we don't have that data yet. So this is just simply an early taste of what might happen. Um, so unfortunately the news is, is, is not good. You know, this happens every now and again. They look at people's baskets of what people spend their money on and they try and weight the CPI according to that. Maybe you can go into more detail so that people can understand because I know there's a very, very common perception out there that CPI can't be 5% because look at what's happened to my grocery bill. <laughs> co co correct. I mean, I mean, what, what's happening this time around is part of a normal five yearly cycle where uh, the statistics office has done a, a survey of what households actually spend their money on. Um, they use this to calculate an, a consumer inflation basket for the country in aggregate. And, you know, the statistics office has done a huge amount of work in recent years to add additional information. So we've always known what was a high income and middle income and a low income inflation basket, but now they're adding in different tiers of what is Gauteng inflation, etc., and a whole bunch of different bits of information we, we, we didn't have previously. Now, this would typically be done every five years because doing a household expenditure survey is quite it's an expensive. Exp yeah. It's an expensive, it's a big project. Um, what's interesting, and it is the global norm to do it in five years, some countries do it in three years, and I believe the statistics office may in fact move towards a more frequent cycle, which is good news because the more frequently you do this expenditure survey, the more accurate your, your inflation would reflect what is going on on the ground. Now, your point about people being concerned, you know, about what, you know, what does the headline inflation say versus what do they experience, is, is quite obvious that this is an aggregate inflation for the national average, right? This is not about you or me as individuals, what we spend, because each of us have completely different spending patterns. Some person spends a huge amount on the expensive car they bought, other people spend a lot on expensive food that they use, you know, th that they consume at home. So for each person it is different, and I see in fact the statistics office has got a tool on their website where you can calculate your own inflation basket if you wanted to do that. So this is merely an average representation of what the average person in South Africa experience, and it is of course weighted by the spending power because mm -hmm. consumer inflation is based on what is being spent and therefore somebody who earns a lot of money will probably have a higher weight in the index uh, than, com than compared to somebody who's got a lower one. So the mere fact that electricity has gone up so much since the last survey and petrol has gone up so much, the weightings have to go up because people are spending more of their basket on that. Exactly correct. And, and you already saw that in the index. I mean, if you looked at the, at the index level, all these indices of the different components start at 100, you know, yes. back in 2000. And of course that trend is set to continue. Oh, oh, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> and and what will happen is that over the five, last five years, these indices have now been increasing. And for example, infl the, the electricity index is now sit already sitting at over 200, which means it has more than doubled, right, uh, versus the headline index, which is sitting at around about 135 or something. So you can see how much more money people are already spending in any case on inflation. Now that simply came through in, in today's number again. It was just reaffirmed that uh, that inflation is part of our spending basket, which was, I think it was about 2.5% odd and is now over is now over four percent and, and that is pretty much what the basket indicates now since uh, uh, you know spending on spending on, on, on electricity and petrol is a tax on consumption uh, how does monetary policy look at that now it looks like using previous numbers we're at negative real rates of 0.5 now if this goes up if September's numbers were six percent does monetary policy re react to that and try to bring rates down even lower or no? Well, I mean, I mean, the first thing is is that this inflation rate will only apply as of the January 2013 index, right? So what we're doing now is we're making a guesstimate of what the inflation rate might have been had the index been you know, already applied now. So, so this is just simply trying to look a little bit <coughs> ahead. What it does warn the Reserve Bank is that underlying there are probably slightly more inflationary pressures in the system than what, mm -hmm. what we thought because the spending patterns have changed, mm -hmm. which certainly would make the central bank more cautious when it comes to policy. Do you setting. celebrate the change, Leon? 
well, I, these changes are welcome, they're necessary, and, and, it, and it certainly is, is, is something which is needed because it means that the inflation rate that will be calculated in January will be a lot more accurate than the one that was calculated in December. My next question follows on from that. What is going to happen to, to interest rates then? Are we going to see an upward trend if inflation is going to trend higher as a result of the new basket? Well, I, I don't think so. But what it probably does is that at the moment where the market for the last few months has been sitting asking, is there going to be another cut? The debate will probably yeah. need to move. When will the hike, when will the first hike be? Now that debate certainly isn't something about, I doubt it would be 2013. It would probably be some point so far in the future that quite frankly it doesn't matter to any of us because it's just simply so difficult to for you know given what's going on with the global economy but but it, it would change the balance of forces yeah. that are affecting the short-term interest rate market. Jan thanks so much for your time. Leon Myberg, Sub-Saharan Africa strategist at City.